Alrighty, welcome to the third session of NBC for sustainability. And we are going to have a little family meeting and uh, discuss kind of some things we've learned about the badge and about sustainability. So I'm here with Neo and Andrew, and we are going to talk about some sustainability questions. So the first question, gentlemen, is what is one way you are sustainable in your own life? So uh, one way that I like to be sustainable is through recycling. Uh, here at the University of Dayton, they have a really good program for that. Uh, they always have uh, trash, trash bins, recycling bins, as well as compost bins. Uh, so that's a really great program. And I know back home, my family's uh, trash collection uh, system didn't initially have any kind of recycling program, but we were able to buy our own separate trash can that we used. And then we just take that down to our local library, which had a public uh, dumpster for recyclables. So that's one way that I like to be sustainable. Nice. Yeah. Um, to add to that, I'm currently living at home this semester. And something I do is recently uh, some of our bulbs just went out and you know, I replaced them with LED lights which are a lot more sustainable. They use less energy, more conservative, and help more reuse energy in other places where it can be a little more productive and useful. Uh, and then on top of that, uh, something I do is, you know, you got to manage how much time you use water uh, and just be able to make sure you can serve as much water as possible. Nice, yeah. Um, I cook a lot. So for like leftover food, I try and re like reuse a uh, Tupperware or any kind of reusable containers instead of like plastic bags or anything like that. So all great examples. Uh, what do you all think it means to be a sustainable citizen? Well, uh, to say a sustainable citizen, I'd say was basically just Knowing where energy can be used and where it can't uh, can be, I guess, not as much really used. So to say, uh, for example, like Neo say, knowing where you can put uh, most of your uh, energy put, uh, put towards, so like any garbage disposables that you think uh, they usually throw out, like any of the usual plastic bins, maybe be able to use those to be recyclable, just simple things like that that you can use in your life to uh, help uh, reduce waste and be able to conserve energy. Yeah, yeah, I agree. That's a really good list of things that make up a sustainable citizen. Uh, it's, I think it's really important to uh, be active and know what kind of opportunities are available in your community. If you have maybe a local uh, like community garden or something like that, uh, you can maybe compost there or you can grow some plants there and can kind of reduce the waste that you're getting from from all that. Yeah, for sure. I think being part of a community is definitely a big deal with uh, being a sustainable citizen. I also think um, kind of like knowing like where you fit in the community and what kind of strengths that you can bring, uh, whether it's education or being a leader just by example, either way, kind of sharing your strengths um, in the realm of sustainability. All right, what is one thing that you think your household could improve to live more sustainably? Uh, one thing that I usually think of right off the bat is uh, conserving water. Uh, I feel like I'm guilty of using a little too much water sometimes, whether it's like uh, a nice hot shower some days that might go on a little too long or I, I do something like leaving my water running while I brush my teeth. But I think definitely for my family, it could be reducing the water we use every day. Uh, yeah, for my family, I'd say it's more like choosing what we can recycle versus what we throw out. Sometimes we throw out more than we should. Uh, just being a little more picky about, you know, what it can be recyclable and what should be recyclable. So that would be a good example for me. For my household, it's uh, the temperature of our house. We like to keep it nice and warm in the winter, nice and cold in the summer. So probably like reducing that a little bit just to use a little bit less energy uh, in our house. 
And finally, what do you all think is the biggest challenge for you when it comes to living sustainably? I think it kind of comes at the the sacrifice of your comfort sometimes, as we all kind of mentioned here. Uh, it's much easier to just throw things away and not think about it or keep your house nice and warm and on a cold day or take that extra long shower. But uh, sometimes it's uh, you might want to consider uh, sacrificing a little bit of your comfort to help the greater uh, community and environment. Yeah, Neil, I'm gonna have to agree with you on that one. I'm gonna say, yeah, sacrificing my comfort's really gonna be a, a major, very, uh, um, other than what you said, I would say probably um, thinking outside the box would probably be a little better. Like finding new ways to be sustainable would probably be the biggest challenge for me. It's like, you know, I can do the regular things, but what's something else I could be doing? So that'd probably be a big challenge for me. Yes, Neil and Andrew, Andrew, I also agree that the convenience and comfort is, is definitely a big thing. Um, and then for me also, sometimes it's like a lack of education. Like sometimes I don't know what can be recycled or I don't know that some action X or Y is using a lot of energy or impacting the world in a negative manner. So for me, that's the biggest challenge. Uh, does anybody else have anything to add for... Uh, Anything about sustainability? Oh, go ahead, Neil. There you go. Oh, no, I no, I think that, that covers okay. it for me. All right. Um, well, something you were mentioning about career opportunities is something I just didn't see on your list I thought could be added was uh, eco consultant. It's just the people that are usually in charge of uh, consulting major. Um, um, energy projects that are used to help sustainability. So that'd just be something I would add, but other than that, that's it. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then Neo, do you want to name some of the other uh, career opportunities that there might be in the sustainability world? Uh, yeah. Yeah. We were also talking about uh, opportunities such as being uh, an engineer or perhaps a, a technician uh, related to uh, power sources that are sustainable, such as solar power or wind power. Uh, there are also uh, environmentalists and even uh, construction managers or people who plan out construction, uh, even to uh, the local trash collectors who are part of keeping the uh, all our waste contained and uh, dealt with safely. Absolutely. Thanks, Neo. Um, well, I think that wraps it up for the third session of MVC. I hope you all enjoyed the merit badge, hopefully learned some things. Uh, once you fill out the questions in the Google form, uh, you should be all set for the merit badge. So thanks very much. Yep, thank you. Thanks, guys.